gloss on and yes I do put my lip gloss on I feel like I like somebody's greasy behind auntie mm, auntie's pushing it my chapstick I don't have money I don't been broke Y'all don't judge, okay? Do not judge how I'm looking right now. I'm looking a little funky, but there's an excuse for that. Today is a hair vlog. I'm gonna take it back to how I used to do it because your girl is tired, okay? Your girl is tired. I've been working all morning. I just wanna keep it real cute and real casual. Like, you know what I'm saying? Lately, I've been kind of doing like my very formal and educational and professional, if you will, hair videos and I like those you guys have been enjoying those as well but me personally um I've been missing my very laid back type of hair vlog so today we're gonna have a hair vlog the only difference is with this vlog um I don't have any hair <laughs> I'm actually in the process of waiting for my wig to get here I've been asleep pretty much for the past hour so it's like around 8 or I think 9 30 this thing is really killing me on my head y'all don't judge me if y'all mama walk around in one of these Give me a like down below. I'm very much giving y'all black mama right now. It's a look. Don't play with me. This is gonna be a video featuring, oh gosh, I always forget when I get on camera. That's so professional of me. This video is gonna be a video featuring superb wigs. That's what it is. I've worked with them before and I'll put the picture of the video that I did somewhere on here in the screen. This wig is gonna be a colored wig. Now, if y'all saw my last video with my little highlighted brown and Highlighted brown and gold wig. Y'all know your girl is officially a blonde baddie. I think we may be experimenting today with some glue. See, we're gonna see. I don't, I don't wanna ruin the whole vlog. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and check my tracking because I'm really getting really, really, really antsy. And I need my wig because I feel like being fine because I've been looking like this all day and I'm just ready to be fine. Let's check this tracking. I do have the FedEx app, because I do have a lot of things that come through FedEx. I just make sure everything is nice and trackable. Mm -hmm. Sus is in transit, bay, Y'all, your girl got a brand new robe from the Goodwill, and it's finna be a complete vibe. Like, I'm really finna be real life fine tonight in the house. Like, I'm so ready for it. Like, I'm, I'm not finna play with y'all. And your girl got some candles that I've been wanting to burn. I've been kind of neglecting them, but baby girl, it's a mood tonight. It's a mood tonight. It's a mood tonight. The wig did not end up coming when it was supposed to come. So the wig has just gotten here. And I done opened it already, y'all. I couldn't wait for y'all. I forgot I was even blogging this. I got my ghetto box cutter right here. My little eyebrow razor. My little packaging stuff on the floor. And then we got the wiggy wig. This is from Superb Wigs. It comes in like this little slidey in and out burger type of thing. Ooh, how pretty. It's kind of like the color I have in my hair right now. Hmm. So I didn't have to cut this. This is, oh, and she, She's blunted. She's a blunt bob. I sat and wasted my time and cut this wig. <laughs> this is the unit. It also gave me the bra strap band. A comb on each side, a comb in the back, and a comb in the front. And it's actually blonde throughout the whole wig. It's not just brown. We are gonna definitely touch up these roots just like I did with this one. So yeah, to give it kind of a gradient because as you can see right here, it just goes from brown to straight blonde. For this install, I think I'm going to bleach my knots first and then pluck and then we're gonna come back and touch up my roots. This is gonna be bomb. I can, I can feel it in my spirit. I made this 
concoction like perfect. Like when all the YouTube girls say they want like a cake batter consistency. Girl, I done got the cake. Like, I want to eat this. I mean, I won't because I'm, you know, I'd like maybe die. You cannot tell me that is not look edible. You can't tell me you don't want to put that on top of something and just... I ain't never been a sucker for love. I ain't even had a girlfriend for luck start the world. I ain't have even locked me down. Got me tripped on a nigga trying to Hey, you don't cut off. This is, I feel so, what? <laughs> I feel so loopy right now because it is actually probably um, almost three o'clock in the morning. It's actually exactly 3.01 in the morning. I planned on doing the rest of this, plucking and everything tomorrow. I've been watching hair videos all night and I've just got done watching my girl, Chelsea Janae. And once again, your girl's giving black mama here on the camera. So got my house shoes, got my little, my little robe and my headscarf. So if I was a real black mama, y'all let me know what would my name be? Or what would my black mama name be? Leave it down below. I feel like laughing. I need a laugh. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pluck her. She is ready to be plucked. This is the hairline. This is how she's looking. It doesn't look too bad, but y'all know I gotta pluck my stuff to fill. Alright y'all, I thought for the install I would come in and chime in as a voiceover because I do want to talk to you guys. First thing we're going to walk through is glue process because y'all know your girl is scared, scared, alright? My first time ever using glue. I just know from just watching people on YouTube that you're supposed to clean your hairline. It's the same thing with the got to be glued gel and with your mousse. Clean off your hairline with your 91% alcohol. And I'm going to just take the lace mate and put it in dots around my forehead. I did the front part of my forehead first because I just want to save my ear tabs for last because they give me the most problems. And I just put dots all around my hairline. Being careful not to touch my hairline. I do have a lot of forehead space so it was pretty easy. And then I smeared it in with the end of my eyebrow razor. Yeah, I put two layers and they did dry pretty quickly. Here you're seeing me use my blow dryer because I was getting really, really impatient even though it was drying quickly. And then I just took my time and placed it into the glue. Now, this glue is sticky, okay? This is very sticky. Um, now that I'm looking back at this, I really wish I would have put the glue on my ear tabs and everything as well and not just did it bit by bit like this because you'll see why in a minute. I watch a lot of Erica J and I see her push in the lace with a comb. I couldn't find my fine tooth comb anywhere so I used this big whoop de doo wop de wop comb and I pushed in the lace into the, the glue. Use my blow dryer trying to look very professional, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, looking like Johnny Bravo.
Okay, now that we're jumping into the styling portion of this video, we're gonna talk about this hair really quickly because your girl is in love. She's in love, she's feeling herself. I have not felt this way about a wig in so, so long because honestly, I have been looking, let me just confess real quick, you guys. I have been looking at a wig online from like an Instagram boutique. It was the same type of color, ombre, ash, ash type of blonde color, and it was in a bob just as this. Y'all know how much they were trying to charge me to become a blonde baddie? They were trying to charge a girl $750 and guess what? Your girl was legit about to pay it. So this wig came just in time. That just shows you how determined I was to get this color. Like, and I want to say now, like, that's not me trying to throw shade at people pricing, you know, their wigs at that much because I understand the pricing of that wig because the owner does the coloring job, the cutting, the styling, and everything by hand. You're not currently bleaching everything, so I understood that, but this is so much more affordable and it looks almost the same and I love it. Let me be the first to say that superb wigs, y'all did that with this coloring job. Like seriously, this was a whole vibe for me. Like now I'm officially sold. If y'all see me in a 1B or a natural two, natural brown, y'all call the wiggy wig police and let them know that your girl is out of order, period, because I'm officially a blonde baddie. What's good? After I installed this wig, I did wear it for about a week. Um, I do want to add that this hair is not naturally straight. As y'all saw in the beginning, the hair after washing was a little bit wavy. So keep that in mind if you're going out and you're going to be sweating in humidity and rain because the next day I actually got caught in the rain and my hair waved up like nobody's business. Um... I'm sure if you actually sat down and wet and styled it that way, the waves would have looked a lot better. But since I was caught in the rain kind of abruptly, I looked like a wet dog and it looked kind of poofy. So just keep that in mind. Um, also, I did not use any silkening serum to silk out my unit. So that probably could have helped. So if you guys use anything to help you straighten your hair that's humidity resistant, that definitely will help to not get the frizziness and the poofiness. Um, but I have not tried to wear this hair wavy yet. If I do, I will update you guys on my Instagram story. Stories. So please make sure you're following your girl on Instagram, okay? I can't stress this enough. I am trying to be a lot more active on Instagram, so you guys keep up with me there. This hair is so freakishly soft, okay? The only thing I wish is that this hair is a little bit thicker. It's not super duper thin. It is a good density for this type of length and everything because it looks extra natural. But I do wish it was at least 180 or a little bit thicker of a 150. You just know me. I just love a thick wig, you feel me? Let me know how you guys like me doing the actual review part as a voiceover and during my install process. Or do you guys like me doing it towards the end with like a little sit down, chill type vibe. Just let me know down below. Now we're in my bed doing a little old school hair review, okay? Um, like I told y'all, this is a hair vlog, so we're taking it back to my roots and we are in the judge's corner. But in all, I do love this hair. This color is amazing. I'm officially a blondie. Like any other hair you guys see me wearing outside of like hair reviews is gonna be this color. When I was in high school, I like most school this is how i wear my hair not with the blonde but with this cut and this side part is giving me middle school and early high school vibes and then i was a snack i mean i'm an entree now but i was a little tidbit little fruit snack a big shout out let's go out to superb for sending me this lovely unit i am in love with it thank you guys so much for partnering up with me in today's video if you guys enjoyed today's video please do not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to the beehive down below join the beehive gang the beehive fam because we are lit and we are never ever bougie over here do you understand me i know you want to keep in contact with your girl because i'm your best friend you're my best friend we're all best friends so add your girl on instagram i mean what and as always my lovelies i love every single one of you but until next time your crown may too but you never let it fall stay gilded
Thank you.